um able medical assistant simon k official number m5476 of the nigerian navy sir i'm using this medium to you to make an appeal to you because i have no any other option and any other way to go about it and that is why i resorted to the use of this media why because the people i'm supposed to pass this through happen to be the people that are threatening me sir without prejudice to the service without prejudice to your personality you're a good person you have done so much you have encouraged the men you have enacted a lot of policies that are centered towards ensuring that the morale of the personnel is high at all time but sir i want to bring it to your notice that when it comes to some of your commanders at the lower level and whatever case will be sir the reverse is the case why am i making this i'm making this simply because my life has been threatened by my commanding officer and by my exo i'm presently serving in nns dorina my commandant my commanding officer is uh commander i aliu and uh, he has threatened sir that he's going to throw me overboard that is consequentially saying he's going to kill me so sir my problem now is i don't know if that is a threat or that is the reality i'm scared because at the end of the day is only a living person that lives to tell the story of what has happened and what has transpired once you're dead you are dead and going by the antecedents of the fact that a lot has happened in the job and a lot of people have died mostly water related and at the end of the day one cannot actually phantom what was actually the main cause of such so i had to scamper for safety i left my ship yesterday because it was yesterday that my commanding officer threatened that he's going to throw me overboard and why was he threatening to throw me overboard simply because of the fact that i have been to oshodi sir i have finished oshodi before going to oshodi i have applied in nns pathfinder for voluntary discharge i'm 15 years in the job now but pathfinder never forwarded it through Till draft took me and I get to Dorina, and which I equally did the same. But at the end of the day, sir, as I'm talking to you up till now, my application has not yet been forwarded. And part of the reasons I stated for my discharge was the fact that sir, I need to have a situation where I can attend to my mental health. But that was never looked into. But rather, I keep receiving threats from all angles. Just like the EXO, he has told me on two consecutive times that do you know that the person that has applied can actually still be dismissed? So, so my problem is I get to see that there are a lot of issues in regards when a person have applied voluntarily to discharge and leave the job. I don't know what is responsible for that but i get this feeling that there's this feeling that comes alongside it that uh, it's as if you are disgruntled or it's as if you are not loyal or the rest of it and so many other things and that is how it is perceived despite the fact that you have made effort and you have raised a signal in regards that people desiring to discharge voluntarily the application should not be delayed but sir, there's still a lot of delay. And at this point in time, sir, this threatening comes as a result of when I told my commander that I have a situation, a pressing family situation, an emergency situation that is affecting my mental health, just as stated in my application. But all I could get at the end of the day was extra duty and the fact that my application is not going to be forwarded and the fact that if i misbehave in that regards i'm going to be thrown overboard that was all i get so sir i'm using this medium to appeal to you and any other well-meaning individual that is consigned 
to look into my matter to see that this is an issue of national interest. And likewise, same things goes with my wife. My wife has applied for a very long time now. She has applied, I think, on three consecutive times that she wants to discharge from the job. But the reverse is the case. It has been returned on so many occasions advising that she should stay and complete 10 years. But my problem now, sir, is the fact that her juniors in the job have been discharged from the job voluntarily. So why is it that her own case is exceptional? So, sir, I'm appealing, I'm pleading, sir, if you can look into this issue and see how you can address this issue, sir. Because this issue is something that affects somebody psychologically. Just like DHQ raised at a point in time that anybody that is perceived to be disgruntled, I'm not actually disgruntled, I believe in Nigeria. I believe that one day this country is going to be great. I believe in the con con contribution that the president, in the person of President Muhammad Buhari has done. And I believe in your personality as the chief of Naval staff. All your contributions and all your policies towards geared towards motivating men. But at the same time, sir, I don't believe that you will sit and watch people of the uh, other officers of the lower rank to actually jeopardize this. So I believe, sir, you can do something about this. And if I'm to even say a little of my mind, sir, if they claim that I've done something or that I'm indisciplined or that is why my applications are not forwarded or a lot of things, sir, I want to bring to your notice that I swear to God, if I'm lying, I shouldn't see tomorrow. In NNS Dorina, where I serve, we buy as ordinary as pure water, pure water and bottled water to proceed on sea. If I'm lying, I shouldn't see tomorrow. And I believe with your kind officer, you have made good provisions to ensure that the personnel are well catered for. But sir, the reverse is the case and I wouldn't want to blame you and blame any other person in higher authority. But sir, I want you to see this and consider the fact that your kind gestures is not extended to the barest minimum. There is need, sir, for you to look into this and see what you can do about this, sir. I'm calling on well-meaning Nigerians at the same time because at the end of the day now, this video is going to be perceived to be that I am disgruntled. I am actually not saying the truth. I am and I'm going contrary. I'm trying to discredit the armed forces. No, I'm not in any way trying to do that. But I'm trying to ensure that people that are accountable should be responsible. And that is all I'm gearing towards. So I have a lot of things to say in my mind, a lot of misdoings, a lot of wrongdoings. But for now, sir, this is all I have to say. I have to leave my ship because I'm no more safe since the CEO said he's going to throw me overboard. I can't be so stupid to stay and see how he executes that, sir. So that is why I'm making this video, sir. And, sir, we only live but once. I'm not scared of death. I'm not scared of whatever is going to come out as a result of this video. But I'm not going to die a coward. I have to say my mind and the way things are. So please, sir, consider this, sir. And all well-meaning individuals as well should consider this and see the pain of the military. Thank you, sir.